I'm Terry Orkwell. Let's talk about reversals. I've had quite a few people ask me to do a video on reversals, so here we go. Now, there's not really one rule of how to use reversals. There's so many ways you can use it. We're going to go over all of them that I know of, and I'm sure other people will have contributions as well. So let's go through them. What happens when the cards are reversed? Now, if you're using my card interactions method, where these people are walking this direction, he's walking this direction, maybe towards the tower. Uh, if you have a reversal, you can obviously say that they're walking the opposite direction, or they're walking this direction into the void, for example. Um, you can also use this not only for movement, but for facings, for pointing a direction, for barriers, etc. So if they reverse with card interactions, you can use the opposite direction of where the person's going, and that's going to be handy if you like that style. Now, if you just use regular style, reversing it means the opposite. So for example, if we have a reversed Ace of Cups instead of a new emotional beginning, maybe we have the same old emotional turmoil or the same old emotional situation that you're in now continues on. So those are the opposites. So the first definition of reversals that you can use is basically the opposite of the card. So if we have this nice, beautiful Ten of Cups, uh, the opposite means you don't really get everything. You don't get that happy ending. and Everything is not going to be as well as you had thought that riches, the riches of emotion may be a bit out of your reach if we do the opposite, for example. Now, there are obviously some issues with doing, let's say, the opposite. The tower is dramatic, abrupt change, and death is the ending of something. So what if you have, so you sort of have change either way. So if we put these opposite, is it both the same? What is the opposite of dramatic and major change? Is it no change in the situation at all? What about death, where we have the ending of something? Is it the beginning of something, or is it not the ending of something. So obviously you have issues with certain cards where you just sort of have to go on intuition to that point as far as what it's trying to tell you if you use the opposite method. Now I know quite a few people that do, quite a few people that do use the opposite. Then you have other obvious odd cards like dream fulfillment does this mean that you don't have that many choices? Does that mean you don't get your fulfilled dreams? That's part of the confusion that people have with using just playing the opposite. What if we have a court card, for example, let's say the King of Cups with the opposite method. So what does this mean? Does this mean a loss of emotional power? A loss of emotional control, maybe? If we have the king has a specific personality style, is it the opposite of that personality style? So that's one of the things with the opposite. Sometimes it's just downright confusing. Uh, the other issue you have is you'll pull an entire spread of reversals. And if you're not that familiar with it, then you're spending quite a bit of your time going through each card and trying to mentally calculate the opposite to that and the opposite of this and the opposite of that. And then you're trying, and your, your querent is waiting for an answer. So you're sitting there trying to memorize the opposite, the opposite. I think that's, okay, that's not a new beginning. That's the same old beginning, but that's a loss of choice. I think that, so that's the other problem when you get a stack of reversals as well when you're doing the opposite method. But it still is a very common way of looking at things when you go with the opposite. I'm losing my voice apparently. So that is method one of doing the opposite. Now method two is just completely ignoring reversals and not using them. And I'm mentioning this because that's a fairly valid thing to do, especially again, you know, you pull a whole spread of opposites or a whole spread of upside down cards. You have to mentally go through them. You're, somebody's waiting on you. You're figuring it out. A lot of people, if they're new, they won't do reversals or they'll just do one reversal or something like that. But a way to do this, a perfectly acceptable way, is just completely not do them. And that would be the nothing method to where you just don't do it. 
And then, of course, using the method method, the nothing method, you can come in and allow one reversal per spread or allow two reversals per spread or sort of ease into it. It's not something where you have to just go wild the first time. So the nothing method, you can kind of gradually come into reversals by doing the nothing method and then gradually introducing one card or two cards. So when you get this, for example, you would keep drawing until you got your limit, which would be one card or whatever. So kind of a, a weird way to do it, but if you're not good with reversals and you're trying to figure out reversals, you can slowly and gradually bring them in. But again, the nothing method means you just don't do reversals at all, and that's perfectly acceptable. Now the next method is they're not quite prepared. So they're not really prepared. So it's one of those things to where it's the area before or the area after this time period. So we have this success, for example, or maybe we have a new beginning. So we have a new beginning, a new emotional beginning. When it's reversed, maybe there's a time period where they're preparing for this new beginning. Maybe there's a time period before that beginning. Maybe there's a time period after that beginning. Maybe they had the new emotional beginning, and now they're in the, the direct path afterwards. So upside down would be the area before or after the card happens, the upside right side up card happens. So the new beginning, new emotional beginning. Now we have a period before. So you would read this as preparing for a new beginning. Preparing for that new beginning has caused you a lot of turmoil and has turned your life upside down and you have this fear that it will basically cause you to go bankrupt or cause you to have uh, financial hardships. So that new emotional beginning, there's fear of what happens after that. But again, this is not quite prepared for it or the time period after it would be represented by what this means. I know it's kind of confusing, so let's go through another one. So now we have the happiness, we have it all, we have the family, we have the home, we have the emotional reaches and things like that, the connection with somebody else. Maybe we have, maybe we're not quite prepared for that having it all. Maybe this is something that we don't really want in our life right now, or we're trying to remedy not having it are losing that particular thing as well. So could be that time period before, after, could be the loss of that particular thing. So that is the not quite prepared or the aftermath of something like that. So now we have the next method that you can use would be resistance from that. So we have a happy ending where everything is happy. Maybe we have a resistance towards that. Maybe we have don't really want that. That's not something we really want. We have an emotional or sort of a life resistance toward having that. So it could be sort of that resistance of maybe I don't want everything or maybe I don't want to abandon everything. And I have this fear that if I abandon everything which is happening here, then that resistance to abandoning everything, maybe I don't want to, maybe I want to keep everything as is, I don't really want things changing, maybe I don't want that new emotional beginning, maybe I like my emotional state as is, and it could be one of those things to where I have resistance to what is in the card, maybe I have a resistance to the power of my own emotional states. Maybe I have a resistance to a lot of different choices or a lot of different things. Maybe I don't like that many choices. Maybe I like things as is. Maybe I'm a bit boring. Maybe I like things the way to go, the way that they go. Maybe I have a resistance towards making friends. Maybe I have resistance towards sharing. So that is the resistance method of reversals. Now, another method that we have is the fear method. The fear method is I have a fear, which could also combine with the resistance. I have a fear of big emotional change. And that fear of big emotional change is causing me to bo go broke. Sorry, the big turmoil, the big changes. I don't like them. It's causing me to go broke because I had an opportunity at my job for a new position, but I refused it. And now 
I'm sort of, you know, not in the best financial state because I refused that. They didn't promote me or something like that. I had a, I had a resistance or sorry, a fear slash resistance towards the big changes. And now I don't have very many choices or something like that. So that is sort of the, the, the condition of the resistance and combining it with the fear. So resistance slash fear. Now, another thing is reversals could mean the needs attention method. Needs attention method, things need attention. This needs attention. I have a lot of options, but it I need to pay attention to this particular card. It's sort of standing out. So this is a standing out slash needs attention method to where you need to look at this as something important. Because maybe there's a hardship coming. Maybe there's hardship on the way, and that needs some attention, some special attention, because the big choices that I have, one of them could lead to this. So it's very important that we have attention towards that. Maybe I need to pay attention to the friends. Maybe friends need attention. Maybe gifting needs attention. It's one of those things to where this needs a lot of attention. These two subjects need to stand out within the spread and they're doing that by being reversed. So that is the needs attention method. So how can we use that? Again, the choices leads to hardship. Maybe the choices leads to having a friend or having a friend needs attention because having a friend leads to the choices and those choices lead to a happy ending or an emotional satisfaction. So I need to pay attention to this card, which is friends and uh, gifting or being uh, gifting things. So gifting things is going to be important in this reading because it's going to lead us to choices, which leads to our happy emotional ending. So this is a way basically for the card to stand out being reversed. And that is the needs attention method. Now, the next obvious one, and I say obvious because a lot of books will actually put reversed in them. So the Nine of Coins, for example, describes the finely robed woman. Financial security brings freedom. Now, reversed, it means responsibility with other people's money may lead to debt. Irresponsibility with other people's money may lead to debt. So some books actually map out what the reversals mean. And I know that's kind of painful, the book method is painful because you have to memorize not only 78 cards, but you have to memorize an additional 78 reversals. So a lot of times you can get a freebie by the reversal means the opposite of the reversal is really obvious. But if you really want to get serious with reversals, you probably want to open the book to your most used decks and see if they do list out a reversal. And that would be the book method. Now, a lot of people will just print these books and not a lot of work goes into them, etc. So a lot of times the book method is just really obvious or lame. So, you know, take it as you will for the book method. But there are quite a few authors that have put a bunch of work into their books. And when they say reversed, they actually, you know, put some work into it and put some effort into it. So... Get out your little white book, or in some cases, large book, for your tarot and see if it has reversals and sort of peruse through and see if maybe the reversal in the book is the one that I want to use. Again, there's so many different ways you can use reversals, so many methods. This is just one of many methods, and hopefully somebody has even more ideas. Please post them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them and everyone else would love to get that share as well. So that is the book method of reversals. And the last method that I'm going to cover is not being prepared. So we had resistance or fear. I have a resistance or fear of change. Maybe the resistance slash fear method. I have a resistance or a fear of change and that's keeping me from having that many choices. I don't have as many choices as I could have. So maybe I have a fear of choices as well. So that's one of the things with the fear slash resistance method. This is the not quite over or recovery from. Again, we're talking about the time windows maybe before and after. I have a resistance to this 
the before method. This is the after method. I'm recovering from. I had too many choices. I had too many choices. I made the wrong choice. And now I'm recovering from that. So it's a recovering from too many choices. An over bloated amount of choices. I'm recovering from this card going into this card. So recovering from too many choices. I made the wrong choice possibly. Now I'm in financial hardship. I'm recovering from a bad influence. I'm recovering from this. And now I have to sort of start over with a new beginning. So again, we still have the issue with reversals. What if everything is reversed? I'm recovering from this. I'm recovering from that. I'm recovering from that. Obviously, we still have issues, but we will get to that in a moment. But still, let's look at the recovering from method, because again, we're going to mix and match here in a minute. So we're recovering from financial hardship. Now we have this area of new beginnings. We have a new emotional beginning because of the recovery. So this is sort of a timeline. Recovering, now we have this. Recovering from the financial hardships. Now we're sort of in a bad place with a lot of bad influences around because of the financial hardships. Maybe we're recovering from the financial hardships and now our friends are helping out. Maybe they donated a bit and everything's going to be okay. So that is the recovering from method. So I've covered all of these methods to sort of point to basically the last method. And this is the method that I personally use, which is a combination of all of them based upon your intuition or what makes sense. So again, there's no one rule of reversals. You don't have to be the opposite. You don't have to be card interaction. You don't have to be the book definition. You don't have to be it needs attention because it's standing out. You can use all of them. Just use your intuition to figure out what is what. So sometimes the cards will explain themselves. I have these friends. We're interacting. Everything goes good. Now, one of my friends has a fear of abandonment. So this is the fear method, right? The resistance or fear. We have a resistance to being abandoned or a fear of being abandoned. And this happened with one of my friends. So they recovered from that or they encountered a lot of change and a lot of turmoil because their fear. So maybe they had a divorce they were fearful of being abandoned, so now they had a divorce and a bunch of, of changes happened within their lives, for example. And now, within their life, what really needs attention, the needs attention method, is a new emotional beginning. They just got the divorce. They had this break up with their partner because of the fear, resistance of being abandoned. They had the breakup. And now we're using the sort of recovering from slash needs attention. So now what needs attention or recovering from that emotional state, what needs attention is the new beginning of emotional, of emotional security that they need. Because if they go out and find someone special after recovering from or having that new beginning, then they'll have a happy ending and a better marriage than what they had over here. And they learn their lesson from here. So you get the idea. We're using a combination based upon what makes the most sense. What makes the most sense? Recovering from, recovering from, reco that doesn't make sense. What makes the most sense out of the options that we have is a combination of needs attention here and resistance fear over here. So again, this is just one sample reading. You can plow out your own reading and see this type of thing. But again, so let's review the different types. We have the not prepared, resistance, fear, needs attention, the book definition, card interactions, recovery from, don't use them, and it means the opposite. So Pick and choose which one that you like. There's so many to choose from. Again, my method is using all of them in the context of what makes sense within the reading. And that is my lesson on using tarot reversals. Now, this is radically different probably from everybody else because, again, I use multiple methods. 
And I know there's not, it's not the one ring to rule them all, right? The one method to rule it all. In my opinion, I think that you should use your intuition. I think that you should sort of go along and find out what makes sense in the context of the reading. So let the cards tell you how to read the reversal is what I'm basically saying. And that is my lesson on reversal, by the way. This is supported by my Patreon members. What is Patreon, you ask? That's where you can support me in my lessons in my free readings, if you would like to throw a couple of dollars my way to help pay for the software that you're seeing all the annotations for, etc., I would appreciate it. My current patrons are Daily Empress, Adam G., Alley Cat, Annie Lamaster, Carmen Gabriano, Carolyn Bouchard, Crystal McGinn, Fatima, Gary Fink, Hot Chocolate, Jessica Mante, Kim Wilson, KSW, La Ami, Richard Zay, Scott Miller, Shintaro Kuga, Sanai Zamora, and Trino Irvedio. Thank you so much for being my Patreon supporters. And as always, if you would like to join them, link in the description for how to do that. So I greatly appreciate it if you would hit like and subscribe. It helps us get recommendations on YouTube and get more community and more people in to watch the videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching.